Rocket's Red Glare was known for being a stand-up comedian and character actor who appeared in over 30 films over a span of two decades. His credits include the films Desperately Seeking Susan, After Hours, and Big. But in addition to this, Red Glare is known for something else, something more sinister, and it all took place at the legendary Chelsea Hotel in the fall of 1978. Rockets was known in the late 70s punk scene as a roadie for the Hassles, a band featuring a young Billy Joel, but also as the bodyguard and supplier for former Sex Pistol Sid Vicious, who in 1978 was living in room 100 of the Chelsea Hotel with his girlfriend Nancy Spungen. One morning in the fall of 1978, Vicious claimed he had woken up to discover the body of Nancy underneath the sink in their suite at the Chelsea. Sid was arrested and charged with second-degree murder. Ultimately, the case was closed without resolution after the body of Vicious was found in February of 1979. The cause was determined to be an overdose. But Vicious was not the only suspect in the death of Spungen. The second suspect was Rocket's Red Glare. Many of the people in the punk rock scene and others who knew Sid and Nancy believe that it was in fact Red Glare who was the one responsible for Nancy's death. Red Glare was accused of Spungen's murder by journalist Phil Strongman in his book, Pretty Vacant, A History of UK Punk. Excerpts from the book were included in the Rolling Stone article, Flashback, Nancy Spungen Found Dead at the Chelsea Hotel. Here is a short excerpt. One theory is that Rocket's Red Glare, the drug dealer who supplied the opiates that night, killed Spungen. According to author Phil Strongman in his book Pretty Vacant, A History of Punk, Spungen confronted Red Glare when he tried to steal cash from their hotel room, so he stabbed her in the stomach and split. Quote, Noticing Sid flat out and grey on the bed, Red Glare decided to help himself to a bit more of the couple's cash. Strongman writes, Nancy saw an attempted theft and flew at him nails flying and caught a bowie knife in her lower abdomen. Nancy slumped to the floor immediately. With no one standing in his way, Red Glare took everything but pocket change and left behind what he believed to be two corpses. Strongman continues that in January of 1978, Red Glare was heard confessing about the theft and murder at the punk rock club CBGB's. Quote, Rocket's Red Glare casually admitted to several fellow drinkers that it was actually he who'd robbed and stabbed Nancy Spungen and produced a handful of her blood-stained dollars to prove it. Continuing on with an article from the Daily Star, at the same time all cash from their room had been taken, it is claimed that Red Glare wanted to cover his tracks after killing Nancy by then taking out Sid. After arrest, suicide attempts, and jail, Vicious died on February 2nd at age 21, of a drug overdose. Red Glare supplied the drugs at the fateful party when Sid died of a heroin overdose, and it was later found that the drug was up to 90% pure compared with the regular 30 to 35% on New York streets. Others have come forward to back up the claim. One who wrote on social media said, quote, it was definitely Rocket's Red Glare. I used to live in the East Village, and I know people who had known him. He evidently bragged about it and wore it like a badge of honor. Another said, It's an open secret in New York that Red Glare and an accomplice went into their room to steal drugs, and when Nancy woke up in a drugged-out haze and saw them trying to steal their stash, she freaked out and the two of them stabbed her. Continuing on with an excerpt from The Vicious Death of Nancy Spungen by Heather Monroe, others claim a man named Michael also came into and out of the room. No one seems to know his last name, only that Michael was also a resident of the Chelsea. Interestingly, Rocket's actual name is Michael Mora. Before Rockets died of drug-related illnesses in 2001, he openly bragged that he killed Nancy. Some say Rockets was being flippant, but had a habit of telling tall tales. But Rockets also had a wad of cash bound with Nancy's purple hair tie, Sid and Nancy's money, as much as $25,000 was inexplicably missing when Nancy died. Let me know what you guys think happened in the comments section below. 
I will provide the links to all of the source material that I used in this video below. Don't forget to like and click the kitty to subscribe, and I will see you guys again for my next upload.